eight large craters run in a long straight line across a geographical region. Although some of the craters contain rocks that have undergone high pressure shocks characteristic of meteorites slamming into Earth, these shocks could also have been caused by extreme volcanic events. Because of the linearity of the craters, it is very unlikely that some of them were caused by volcanoes and, other were caused, and others were caused by meteorites. Thus, since the craters are all different ages, they were probably caused by volcanic events rather than meteorites. Which, of, which one of the following statements, if true, would most strengthen the argument? So let's just make sure we understand the argument here. So you have these eight craters that run in a long straight line. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So those are eight craters that run in a long straight line. And they're talking about, is it caused by, volcan by meteorites? Meteor, let me write that a little bit neater. Meteorites versus volcanoes, volcanoes, and they say because of the linearity, it's unlikely that some of them were caused by volcanoes and others were caused by meteorites. So it's unlikely to be a mix of them because you know it seems very low probability that hey that one's a meteorite, that one's a meteorite, and a volcano, and that one's a meteorite, and volcanic activity just happened to be on the exact straight line in between them. So that's what this statement is saying, because of the linearity of the craters. Because of the linearity of the craters, it's very unlikely that some of them were caused by volcanoes and others were caused by meteorites. And then they say, thus, since the craters are all different ages, they were probably caused by volcanic activity events rather than meteorites. So why does that why does that seem to rule out meteorites? Well, if it was one meteor shower, you could imagine a bunch of meteors all falling and having the same rough direction and one falls here and then another one's right behind it falls here and then another one falls there and so they're all part of the same event. You could imagine that multiple meteorites part of the same event at around the same time forming a line as they collide with the earth. But they're saying they're all different ages. So if you're talking about craters started at different times, the odds of Meteor, one meteorite hitting and then a few hundred or thousand years or a million years later another meteorite hitting in this exact same line, that seems very unlikely. And so that's why the, the difference in ages is also pointing to volcanic events. The linearity implies that we're probably not a mix and then the difference of ages plus the linearity implies that we're probably dealing, or according to the author, with volcanic events. Now let's see what would further enhance or strengthen the argument. So choice A, a similar but shorter line of craters that are all the same age is known to have been caused by volcanic activity. So one, if they're talking about a shorter line of craters that are the same age, well one, this doesn't apply that strongly. This is a longer line of craters that are different ages. And some, in some ways the different ages makes it a little bit more interesting to explain. And so the shorter line of craters that are all the same age doesn't really back up what's going on here. And so it doesn't, it doesn't seem to really strengthen the argument. A shorter line of craters that are all the same age is less impressive than what we're talking about here. B, no known natural cause would likely account for eight meteorite craters of different ages forming a straight line. So this is what I mentioned. If you imagined uh, meteorites, meteorite craters all at the same time, if they're part of the same meteor shower, well then you could imagine them all, you know, they're all traveling together and they break up as they, or one big rock breaks up as it enters into the Earth's atmosphere into multiple small ones, but they're all going in the same direction. And then maybe where they collide with Earth, they can form a, a, a line of craters. But the fact that there's no natural cause which would likely account for eight meteorites to fall at different times, I implicitly assumed that when I tried to develop this conclusion, but here they're saying it explicitly. So I was kind of doing the work for them, but that really helps. And in fact, I would put this, I would put this, you know, maybe right over here. I would say, and the craters are all different ages. And no known natural cause would likely account for eight meteorite craters of different ages forming a straight line. Therefore, they were probably caused by volcanic events rather than meteorites. That would actually make it more cohesive and you'd be less dependent on someone like me to say, hey, well, you know, what are the odds of different meteorites at different times of causing the straight line? So I like choice B a lot. Let's look at the other choices just to make sure that we don't like them. <laughs> All right. There is no independent evidence of either meteorites or volcanic activity in the region where the craters are located. 
Well, that definitely wouldn't strengthen the argument. That actually would undermine the argument a little bit. If you say, you know, the argument they're saying is probably volcanic events, but then if we said there's no evidence of volcanic activity in the region, well, that would undermine, not strengthen. So let's cross that out. There is no independent evidence of a volcanic event strong enough to have created the high pressure shocks that are characteristics characteristic of meteorites slamming into earth. So let's get this was undermine it. They're saying, "Hey, some of these have the characteristics of of these high pressure shocks, and if there's no evidence that volcanic events can do that, well that would undermine the 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 conclusion that these were probably caused by vol- volcanic events." No single meteor shower has created exactly eight impact craters that form a straight line. So this one is interesting because they're talking about a single meteor shower. This is more of the things all happening at the same time. And so maybe if if these craters were of the same age, this could help strengthen the argument that it was volcanic, but we're not talking about all of the craters getting created at the same time. So we don't need to think about we even rule out the single meteor shower. So once again, I don't think that doesn't that doesn't really strengthen the argument. B, I feel very good about.